strength and wisdom to find out the affairs of this nation. I am so happy that try as many did to blow us off course. You all remain steadfast to the goals we set for ourselves. You buried all efforts to break our collective resolve and remain true to our stated objective. I say thank you all. I am proud to say we gave governance our best and have bequeathed a solid legacy which the Nigeria we have all prayed for and are hoping will be built sustainably. You all supported me in opening up the space for dialogue and freedom of expression, which at times gave opportunities for abuse, but never wavered in exhibiting maturity even in the face of inexplicable confrontation or provocation. <coughs> and we conclude our last meeting Executive Council today. I encourage you all to go back to your various desks and ensure that last minute rush does not compromise the good deeds you have done over the years. In the course of our years together, ranging from our newest edition to the oldest members of the team. For the past seven and a half years, we may have differed on many issues. I urge that we all understand that those positions were for the collective good, and no one should keep grievances or carry these differences forward. For those of us that will not directly be in government, I know I'm one of such. <laughs> <laughs> I ask that we continue to provide our support in whatever way we can, if called upon. With our great party, the All Progressive Congress, that gave us a platform to stand, and we must continue to support it in every way we can. I will forward to a great many of you. It is proving that Dora has not become too distant because I am no longer Mr. President. <laughs> I would also have to do the many things that I have really missed since May 29th, 2015, 1915, or 2015. One of such is my favorite first time taking care of my cattle. <laughs> I wish all of us the best and hope to hear good news whenever any of our names are mentioned. Thank you. And God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.